Hi, thank you for coming in. I'm Waverly and I'll be showing you how to do layout. So in filming, they do blocking, which is something similar to layout where they show movements from A to B. In animation, we do layout, which is taking the storyboard and then we blow it up to the field guide and the, to the right size of the field guide. Doing that, we also make sure the character is on model. So this is the background. It's on the level BG, which is also stated right here, background, number two. Skeleton is on, on level A, which is right here, and is shown on here on this form as level A. The filmmaker is level B, and it also makes note that the camera is part of the filmmaker on the same level, and it shows that this is layout one of the filmmaker. Here's layout 24 of the filmmaker, 46. Fifty, and sixty-seven. And this is the field guide. This is shows what size the film is. So this right here tells us that the field guide is a 12 field and it's a 8 field. And this notes what the camera is doing. So it says that the camera move with 8 field. And on the form over here, it notes that the field guide is level C. Thank you. And on to Brendan will be showing you how to do animation. Thank you, Waverly, for that lovely introduction on layout. I'm Brandon, and I'm here to talk about animation. And animating the character is all about bringing the performance, all about making that character feel alive, all about making it fit into the environment. And luckily, I have the layout to help me out right here. Lovely layout. You can see a little skull right there. It's pretty, very well designed. Also, the X sheets are here to help me out. So that guides me as I'm animating the character. And it also guides the in-betweener so that they can do in the in-betweens. And also we start with our key right here. We have our filmmaker, hipster man, little young Geppetto in the making. And also we have our time chart right here to help us out. And the 18, we have that our key, the one we number. And numbering them is really important. These are really helpful. So when, just in case you drop them and they're all out of order, you're not struggling to put them all back together. So... Very helpful, very important. And uh, we see a little more acting as he's moving down, as his face is going. And as for this next frame, you go right here, his eyes are slowly closing. Yeah, when he moved back and forth like this, they look fairly similar, but you can see that his eyes are slowly closing. And that is for the blink, to make it look like he's still thinking. And uh, the way and what the blink is for is not only to make the character feel more alive, it's also to show that he's still thinking. Yeah, and that brings the performance in the character. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, hit a comment. And while you're here, check out more of the videos at Animate for the Selfit. Thank you.